What's the motherfucking deal, YouTube? This your boy Lazarian. Please comment, like, and subscribe on this video. Uh, appreciate everybody who be in the live streams. You definitely was in the live commentary stream last night. Uh, I will do it again tonight on the Pacers and the Wizards uh, in a couple hours at 7 o'clock. So make sure y'all join in and tune in for that. Uh, appreciate the new subs, you know, all the support. Uh, let's get right into the video. Uh, the Lakers uh, lose, uh, get their ass whooped last night, 121 to uh, 105. Um, Lakers need LeBron James back. They need to make that deal with Anthony Davis. Like I was saying last night, uh, Kyle Kuzma, Lonzo Ball, Alessi Zubak, who played great last night, Josh Hart. Every Brandon Ingram who made a strong case last night, who had 36 points, was really about the only one who showed up last night. Um, they all on the table for me. The, the guys all on the table for me. Like, because you know New Orleans is going to ask for Anthony Davis. You know New Orleans, not, not New Orleans. I mean, what the hell I'm saying? You know Kyle Kuzma is going to ask. You know uh, the, Lake, the New Orleans Pelicans are going to ask for Kyle Kuzma. He would be the number one guy right now in that deal. Uh, that uh, the New Orleans Pelicans is going to want. So I don't know when they're going to do do the deal. Like I said, um, uh, the New Orleans Pelicans said they're, they're uh, not in a rush to make that deal uh, right now, to make any deal right now. They're going to do what's best po is possible right now. They have their Anthony Davis rights so that it, they don't have to really trade him. They don't have to trade him. They can just keep his ass there uh, So and trade him uh, during the summer. So they're not going to be in a rush to uh, give him up. And stuff like that but they're going to be listening to offers uh like i said but last night it was turnover city for the lakers i should have sworn i thought they almost had 25 turnovers throughout the whole game because nothing but the first quarter they turned the ball over the whole first quarter they, they didn't get a shot every time and almost philadelphia capitalized off almost tur every turnover they turned the ball over the sixers looked at like the showtime la lakers ben simmons uh, throws alley oop, throwing alley oop passes to uh, throwing alley oop passes towards Jimmy Butler. Uh, ben Simmons going to work in the post in the third quarter. Uh, last night the Lakers never led the ball game. They never led in that ball game. They always they uh had to lead throughout. I never thought the uh, Lakers had momentum besides in the second quarter where they had all the momentum when Steve Mikhailu hits two threes to get them right back in the game. Then Brandon Ingram went fucking went crazy. In the second quarter, he went crazy throughout the whole game. But like I say, I very, I was very impressed the way Mike Muscala played defense on Jabelle McGee. Um, in the fourth quarter, he gets an offensive rebound. Alessi Zubat then box him out. He gets a putback. Um, ben Simmons goes to work in the third quarter, posting up, uh, shooting a couple of hook, night, two nice little spin moves back to back. One on the fast break and one on the post. Um, I thought Landry Shamick gave him some good energy, played great defense last night, and also hit two couple of big threes in the, in the, uh, in the second half and in the first half. Uh, but like I say, Mike Muscala is a, is was is was um, the key to the pretty much the game. He hit big threes. He weathered the storm. Tight Wilson Chandler hit some big threes. Uh, JJ Reddy comes in the third quarter, come off a couple curls, uh, hits uh, pretty much the dagger three uh, last night. Uh, like I say, I like the Sixers team. I think they're the third best team in the East. But whether I pick them in a seven-game series against Boston and Toronto, I would not. I still think Boston will, with it's all said and done, will get to the NBA Finals. I think this team uh, will uh, emerge in the playoffs. The only team that's a real legit threat to them uh, is, a, uh, is Kawhi Leonard and the uh, Toronto Raptors. The Celtics, I mean... To me, I, if Ben Simmons can have a mid-range jump shot, if he can just work on mid-range shooting, you can saw him shoot a couple of fadeaways, left-hand fadeaways uh, a little bit, but he needs to work on him a mid-range shot. If he can just at least give him a mid-range shot to keep defenses honest, the guy the guy can be spectacular. Uh, like I said, that's how Boston was able to shut him down last year in the Eastern Conference semifinals. His inability to not being able to shoot the ball will hurt the 76ers down the stretch, even though you will have Jimmy Butler, who might be a bad teammate, who might be a cancer in the locker room, but the guy Jimmy Butler just wants to win games. That's just how he is. Like I say, this team got way better having Jimmy Butler. They got way they got way better. Like I said, they got way better. But like I say, they can win the East. Anything can happen. But I would not pick them over Toronto and uh, Boston. And meanwhile, the Lakers on the other end, um, they got some issues. To, they got some issues they need to work on, man. They got they they definitely uh 
have some issues they need to work on. So, like I said, uh, nobody showed up pretty much except Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram pretty much showed up. Rondo had a couple of plays right then and now. Last to make you dance, uh, struggled last night besides the two threes that he hit. Steve Mikhailu struggled besides the two threes that he hit. The Lakers never really got momentum into the ball in the ball game. They were down the whole night because of silly turnovers. Uh, all night, Josh Hart uh, misses two big free throws. Uh, the cut the lead, tried to cut the lead down to six. He misses two big free throws. Uh, Joe Allen Bead had a little scare. He was working the hell out of Javale McGee a whole night, uh, shooting the dream shakes over him and stuff. Joe Allen Bead is a is a goddamn monster. No ifs ands buts about it. The guy's a monster. The guy has an outside has a uh, deep range dead eye. Uh, it was one inbounds play in the fourth quarter. Joe Allen Bead right out behind the three-point line by himself. Nobody, no Laker uh, attempt to step out there. So Ben Simmons just said, here you go, shoot this open three. Ben Simmons, I mean, uh, Joel Embiid hits the three. He ends up knocking it down. Like I say, the defense was funky kind of a little bit last night, but it really wasn't the defense. It was the turnovers last night. The Lakers' inability to get a shot every time, every possession last night, it killed them last night. So like I say, the Lakers, I still expect them to make the playoffs when LeBron comes back. I think they're going to make a, a trade to get another shooter on the court, whether if it's Anthony Davis or something like that. I really don't, I really don't see the Lakers trading for Anthony Davis right now. I really don't see the Pelicans giving him up. Right now, I really don't see them giving them up. Uh, like I say, if you're the Pelicans, you don't trade them to L.A. You trade them whatever the hell you want to trade them. You don't have to trade them to L.A. Uh, right now, you got his rights, so you wait on the best deal that is offered for you. L.A. can be uh, aggressive all they want to, but you have rights over Anthony Davis, so you trade him wherever, wherever the hell you want to. Just like Greg probably said, uh, Kawhi Little wants to go to L.A., but they had his rights. He had no leverage. He had no leverage over it. Greg Popovich, what he did, he traded his ass across the border to, to Toronto, a team that he did not expect to be traded to. Uh, like I say, uh, that's what, if you're a New Orleans Pelicans, that's what the hell you do. You don't give Anthony Davis what he wants. He wants up out of there. Yes, you got his rights, so you trade him. You feel free to trade him whatever the hell he wants to. You don't have to trade him into a contender team. You don't have to do that. You can trade him to the damn New York Knicks. You can trade him to the damn Atlanta Hawks. Whatever the damn best deal uh, out there for you, you make that deal. But not with the L.A. Lakers. You don't give them what they want. L.A. Lakers, yeah, they got an assets. Boston cannot make a trade uh, for uh, Anthony Davis because they're going to have to give up Kyrie Irving. So you know they're going to be out. You know they're not going to do that. So, hey, uh, right now, uh, New Orleans, you have the leverage. You have its rights. You don't have to trade them to L.A. You can trade them whatever the hell you want to. You don't have to even negotiate with them right now. So, like I said, the offense was bad last night. Too many turnovers for L.A. Let's get into the team stats. Uh, remember, uh, if y'all want to join in to live commentary, like I say, I will be on at 7 o'clock. Um, like I say, against uh, the uh, Washington Wizards versus the Indiana Pacers. Or I may just wait to the late night game. But, like I say, I will be on at 7 o'clock uh, against the, uh, Pace, the Pacers when they play the Washington Wizards. So, y'all look out for the uh, live commentary, man. Like I said, uh, the Lakers, uh, 43 out of uh, 91, 43 out of 91, 47%. They did make shots from the field. 7 out of 23 from the three-point line, 30%. Uh, free throws, uh, 11 out, 12 out of 16, 75%. Uh, 56 rebounds. Offensive rebounds, 14. Defensive rebounds, 35. 26 uh, assists. Uh, steals, uh, 7. 4 uh, blocks. 21 turnovers. 21 turnovers. That's atrocious. 34 points off turnovers for uh, the L.A. Lakers. Um, 32 uh, points in the uh, fast break points. Got point, Most of their uh, points come off fast breaks. I missed for Philadelphia last night. 56 points in the paint. Uh, Philadelphia. Hold on, guys. Here I come. Hold on, guys. Philadelphia, 42 out of uh, 93. 45%, uh, 15 out of uh, 36, 41%. Very, very good last night from the three-point line. They made shots. Wilson Wilson Chandler made shots. Shamick made shots. And B made shots last night. Uh, like I say, TJ McConnell even made a step, a nice little step back free throw line jump shot. I really like that guy's game. I really like how hard he tries on defense. Uh, 22 out of 28 from the free throw line, 78%. 53 uh, rebounds, the offensive rebounds, uh, 12 
Uh, the big rebound came by Mike Muscala on a putback. Leslie Zubak right now, he did he did not box out on that possession. Um, defensive rebounds, 32, 33 assists, a hell of a lot of ball movement. Most of that it was to Ben Simmons was acting like Magic Johnson out there. Uh, 15 steals, a lot of steals. I mean, the turnovers played a big part in this game. Uh, 12 blocks, uh, uh, 11 points off turnovers, thir uh, 30 fast break points, most of that off the turnovers. Uh, in the, uh, stepping in the passing lane, still in the ball. Uh, points in the paint, 48. Get into the box score. Uh, 11 points. Let me see. Hold on. I got them. Nine points for Wilson Chandler. Nine, 28 minutes, nine points for Wilson Chandler. 28 and 11 for uh, Joel Embiid. Uh, ben Simmons, uh, 19 and 8. Uh, Jimmy Butler, 25 and 6. Uh, 26 and 5. JJ Reddit, 13. Uh, Mike Muscala, 17. Uh, Landry Chapman, 6 big points. Uh, TJ McConnell, 4. And Court Moss comes off the bench with uh, three po straight po three points. Um, Brandon Ingram, uh, 36 and 5 and 5. Uh, Zubak, uh, 7 points. Uh, Rajon, Ron Rajon Rondo, uh, 5 points, 11 assists. Uh, Caldwell Pope, uh, 12 points. You got uh, 17 points for JaVale McGee. 17 and 14, 9 points for Hart. Makai Lu, 7. Uh, you got Stevenson with an 8. That's the end of the video, guys. Give me a comment, like, and subscribe on this video. I thank you guys for always supporting the channel and stuff like that when I play 2K and when I go live stream, uh, like I say, um, at 7 o'clock, probably. I'm um, probably wait till the late night game. Uh, but whatever, whoever comes in, I'll be happy, like I said. Uh, so the Lakers will go to 26 and 25 with the loss. Uh, they are out, if the playoffs will start today, they will be out of the playoffs. They got a lot of work to do. And uh, uh, Philadelphia 76 are uh, 33 and 18. Like I say, they're, I think they're the third best team in the Eastern Conference. But like I say, they could they could get to the uh, Eastern Conference Finals. But if you have to run into Boston or uh, Toronto in one of those, uh, like I say, uh, comment, like, and subscribe. What you guys think about the game last night in this video? Thank you guys. I'm out. Peace.